The church St. Mary's the Virgin lies in the heart of Datchet, a small 13th century village two miles east of Eton. Next door is the Royal Stag. A public house has stood on this spot for 400 years and where there's history, there's hauntings. No white ladies or dark figures haunt here, but a single handprint on a pane of glass. There are several stories. Um, most of them revolve around a young child. Uh, the two most common ones, uh, one is the child of a landlord of the pub where the landlord was involved in a brawl in the um, graveyard next door and his daughter was watching from inside and at some point he was stabbed. She put her hand to the window uh, and that print has remained there ever since. Um, similar but different, a young boy who was waiting for his father who was inside the pub on a wintry night and he was outside in the graveyard and the young boy froze to death. At first glance of the handprint it's easy to explain. It's just a dirty window. So we tried to clean it inside and out. But if this is a spectral palm print, why is it here? When the handprint was placed there, it's possible to consider that whoever put their hand there was in a highly emotional state and for some reason it's got stuck in time and place. A person may have been murdered or may have some sort of unresolved conflict or unfinished business about a place and that tension does seem to remain in that particular location as if it wasn't a fraud. Ten years ago in a bid to solve this mystery the pain was removed and sent off to be scientifically analysed but hours after the glass was replaced the handprint reappeared in the new pane and disappeared in the old. Damien Thomas in Datchet for Meridian tonight. <laughs>